Welcome. Welcome students, family, staff, and community members to the Cleveland STEM High School commencement ceremony for the class of 2022. We are so thankful to be here today to celebrate our graduating seniors. And now please rise for the Black National Anthem. Don't worry about it, I'm not gonna sing. Thank you, you may be seated. It is my privilege to introduce our first student speaker, Catherine Soria. Hello everyone, my name is Katherine Soria. I just want to say thank you to the families, faculty, everyone here right now. Additionally, the people who couldn't be here today. 
but who are and are supporting us. For a time, I didn't think my high school graduation would feel as important until writing this speech. In writing, I felt at ease it would be the least stressful of tasks and assignments remaining. I hope my speech resonates with all of you. We as a class in our communities, families have spent so much time perfecting every sentence, every action to ensure we are valid enough, regardless of the space. Especially in this moment for myself, in my brain, I thought there was a pretty low chance of speaking today, that I did not even tell my family or friends who are here. Now I've barely been at school, seen any of the Cleveland students or teachers, but it goes the same for others, especially if you do running start. So with this one morning, I asked all the running start students I knew, what are you most proud of for yourself? This was their journal response prompt for the year from teacher Catherine. Many responses were similar, surprising myself for passing, but more seriously, growing into a version of myself who isn't so binded to perfection and finally validating myself and feelings. The idea for a prompt came from wanting to include the Running Start students who haven't felt the most involved and a past professor I never physically met due to online school and watching his lectures on two times speed. The prompt was only there to know what goes on in our heads. But before I say more, I want to thank Miss Ibarra for this year. Despite all that was put and thrown at me, she has been there and present. Her hard work and kindness towards me is something that surely should not go unnoticed. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, continuing. For the time I struggled with the validity of my queerness as someone who is ultra feminine, for the time I have struggled with the assignments because they always had to be perfect, leaving me no time for family or friends. In sports, I've struggled for voicing the help I need for the trauma created by others, telling the story and finding peace for the person who sexually assaulted me. This made everything I did a feeling of dread taking much longer to grow into the version of myself who isn't so binded to perfection or the validity of others. All the things I've gone through shouldn't have happened and I hope will never happen again by men or people who felt as though they were in the right to gain positions of power. And to answer my own question, what I'm most proud of for myself is the progress I made and what I've been able to heal myself showing up for myself every time I could have hidden away, especially the work towards decentering toxic masculinity and encouraging safety along with conversation regarding sexual assault. I do not know your troubles and worries, but take a moment to reflect on your goals, how far you've come and be proud of yourself for all the achievements they deserve recognition. Congrats, everyone. Thank you, Catherine. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce our next student speaker, ASB President Mia Dabney. Welcome everyone. When I found out I was one of the students giving a speech at graduation, I didn't know what I wanted to say. Throughout this weekend, I was reminiscing over when I started to create and give speeches. When I was in middle school, in eighth grade, I would start off the Monday morning meetings with a joke and end with a quote. None of my jokes were funny, but let me try one last time for you guys. Knock, knock. Yeah. Noah. No good joke for graduation? I'm kidding. I actually have a joke. I'm kidding. Why did the Eminem graduate high school? Because he wanted to be a smarty. Uh, okay. I'm still not good at it. I'm still learning, and that's okay. 
This is the last time as a student of Cleveland High School I will be sharing my words with you. I wanted this speech to touch on so many topics. I wanted it to be wise, powerful, and a piece of our class's memories that would be remarkable. Sometimes we forget to enjoy the journey. We forget to appreciate those small interactions that can be most important. Those little moments are like pages. They all add up to how we got to this exact place. And those pages of life will continue on to be written on our next journey. From the first day of school to Othello Project trying to figure out the perfect line to win the trial, or sophomore year living out my dream of wearing the mascot. Those late night FaceTime calls trying to turn in last minute tests during online school, or our senior year just trying to survive every day. Those moments, those experiences, they led us all here. I think that's what I wanted this speech to be, a speech about appreciation, love, and hope. We should all be proud of ourselves. Look at what we have accomplished throughout our 13 years of learning and the experiences we've had. In the last four years, we have lived through historical moments that will be remembered for generations. To be in this exact moment and time is special, but we didn't do it alone. We are all main characters in our own story, yet we have supporting characters throughout each chapter of our life to get us through the next obstacles. So thank you to our mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and loved ones and especially to our teachers and staff for supporting us and loving us through every step of the way. Thank you. I like to think of, of life as chapters of a book. And right now, we're on the last page. As we continue to move through our pages in life, I all want you to remember a couple of words. You are worthy worthy of the most love, comfort, and success, because you deserve nothing less, no matter what anyone says. Continue to value your light and the beauty you bring to yourself and others. As the author of each of our own stories, we write it. So that means you don't always know the next sentence, page, or even chapter will be about. It's okay not to know because it's okay to be okay with the unknown. So continue to make wise decisions that are good for you because your happiness will look different than others. Lastly, let me end with a quote. This is my favorite quote and I use it to guide me through my life every day. It's by Gandhi. Be the change you wish to see in the world. To my class, don't be afraid to be that change because you have the power within you. Thank you, Mia. At this time, we will welcome our keynote speaker, King County Council member, Gurmai Zahalai. Gurmai Zahalai is a King County Council member who was raised in low-income public housing in the south end of Seattle. After graduating from Franklin High School, he received degrees from Stanford University and the University of Pennsylvania Law School and worked in the Obama White House. He is also the founder of Rising Leaders Incorporated, a nonprofit that equips middle school students with mentors and life skills training. As a council member, he has worked to build and maintain affordable housing, invested youth opportunities, build public transit in neighborhoods with the highest need, reform the criminal legal system, and make the political process more inclusive. Please join me in welcoming council member Zahalai. What's up Cleveland High School? Make some noise. Yeah. First of all, I just want to say it's such an honor to be able to share this day with you. It's such a special moment, and it's a privilege for every single person in this audience to share it with you. As somebody who graduated from South End Public High School myself, I can't even put into words how proud of you I am. 
Finishing high school is already hard enough, but you did it under the most challenging circumstances ever. One of those challenges that I don't think gets talked about enough is the mental health crisis that our youth are facing in this country. According to the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, the percentage of high school students in America who feel persistent feelings of sadness, sadness and hopelessness has gone up from 26% in 2009 to 44% in 2021. Think about that. In just 10 years, the feeling of hopelessness in high school students has almost doubled. It's the highest recorded percentage in American history. And I'm here to tell you those feelings are valid. For those of you who are feeling anxious, dread, fear, depression, your feelings are valid. You've had to deal with a pandemic, systemic violence, poverty, isolation, gun violence, all the craziness of social media, we know how that goes, a lack of mental health resources in schools, and it's a lot for anyone to endure. And yet you rise, and you rise, and you're here today, and that's worthy of another round of applause. You are some of the most active, politically engaged, compassionate, and organized generations in American history. And I speak for so many people around the world when I say you inspire me. And I commit to doing everything in my power to making sure you have all the tools you need to live a healthy life. That's what drives me. That's what wakes me up in the morning. Before I hop off stage, I want to give you one piece of advice. I know most people do these things in threes, but I have just one piece of advice for you all. And please, please, please listen to this. I wish somebody would have told me this when I was 18. If I could give you one piece of guidance as you start your post high school life, it's this. Progress runs at the speed of relationships. Progress runs at the speed of relationships. Relationships between people are what make the world go round. Whatever you want to do with your life, it will take relationships to make that happen. And guess what? You have a ton of control over who you form relationships with. You can control that. I want to give you one super easy homework assignment, and I promise it's the last homework assignment of your high school career. The last one. Here it is. Once a month, just once a month, I want you to reach out to someone who does something that you find interesting and ask them to either have coffee with you or meet with you over Zoom. Once a month, meet with someone who does something that you find interesting. If you want to start a podcast, DM somebody on Instagram who has a podcast you enjoy and meet with them to ask them how they did it. If you want to run for office one day, Hit me up over email and say, Germay, how did you go from Franklin High School to representing two million people on the King County Council? If you want to hear what it's like to be a doctor, call up a doctor's office and say, would you be down to grab coffee? If you want to become a millionaire, hit up a CEO over email and ask them to have a Zoom meeting with you. And trust me, no one is too important to meet with you. No one is too important to meet with you. Almost everybody that you message randomly, out of the blue, would gladly respond to make time to meet with you for 30 minutes. The habit of meeting with people once a month will do three things for you. Number one, it'll give you a step-by-step -step action plan for how to get from where you are today to where you want to be in the future. Number two, for those of you who aren't sure what you want to do in the future, collecting as many stories from as many people as possible is the best way for you to see what captures your interest. And number three, most importantly, it will give you a bunch of mentors, mentors who will be invested in your success. And you need those relationships in your life to be successful. Progress runs at the speed of relationships. Please, please, please start developing this habit now of meeting with a new person once a month as soon as possible and the world will be yours. Cleveland class of 2022, congratulations to you, to your loved ones in the audience, to your staff and teachers, and every single person who made this amazing event possible. Give yourselves a round of applause.
Thanks again, Council Member Zahilai. Uh, we are going to try to give a speech together, but you can tell there's a height difference, so bear with us while we deal with the mic. Tonight is about celebrating an extraordinary class of seniors, our 2022 graduates. Think back for a moment to September 2018, the start of your first year of high school. You were likely a little nervous, a little worried, but it is unlikely that you could have imagined what lay ahead for you. You will be the last class to graduate for who knows how long that experienced at least one full pre-pandemic year of high school, your freshman year. Midway through your sophomore year, likely right as you started to get the hang of high school, a pandemic brought the world to a standstill. We all went home, we watched, and we waited. You have persevered through many collective traumas, the COVID-19 pandemic, political instability in our nation, and ongoing cycles of violence, often directed at people you share identities with, Asian Americans, Blacks, Indigenous, Latinx folks, trans and other queer people, Muslims, folks with disabilities, immigrants, and the list goes on and on. Many of these identities have felt unsafe in the United States for a long time, but the past four years have challenged any feelings of safety even more intensely. And yet, here you sit. Not only are you sitting here, you are sitting here in community with each other. You leave here not just with a piece of paper, but relationships that mattered to you. You leave here not just with a transcript, but with many examples of the ways you made our school community stronger. In times like these, it has become clear that in fact, relationships keep us safe. When someone cares enough to confront harmful behavior, when someone knows you well enough to see you need some help, when you know that all of your identities are seen and welcomed and recognized as valuable to our community. As part of a project-based learning approach, Cleveland has asked you all to collaborate over and over again. Tonight, we encourage you to absolutely celebrate your individual accomplishments, but consider the power of this class as a collective as well. Miriam Kaba says, everything worthwhile is done with other people. Class of 2022, we salute the collective strength of you, your families, and everyone standing behind you as you celebrate this achievement. We know that you are ready to become the authors of your own liberation and to make more. Congratulations, class of 2022. We will now begin the presentation of our graduates. But before I, but before I say that, ladies and gentlemen, as I stand here, I just want you to know, Cleveland Eagles, y'all look good. All right, Mia Dabney. Sarah Perez Olmedo. Erica Chin. Evelyn Sotelo Mihangos. Yeah. 
Bright Huang. Aya Sahib. Kathy Hua. Catherine Soria. Janelle Garnasse. Thank you. Sophie Nguyen. Jaden Jimeno. Marcellus Sadang. Amari Bates. J sorry, Amari Janelle Bates. Jaden Aliyah Smiley. Jeremy Beckwith, the second. Samuel Asefa. Dylan Lai. No Balcha Aranza Medrano Guillen Kevin Fung. Jawan Simpson Jr. <laughs> Kellen Anthony. Xavier Drew. Safu Jeffries. <laughs> Elena Lee. <laughs> Mia Michelle Duong. <laughs> Ricky Nguyen. Peter Vo Lay Marion Abdurrahman RV Cyril Molina. James Zapanta. Ralph Capilli. Mateo Marquez. Abdimalik Adam. Her. 
Yaya Abukar. Fredis Morales Vargas. Aaron Hubbard. Cynthia Salazar. Nadia Bryant. Jack Childs. Anthony Hong. Gary Wu. Dan Germain Lozano. Matthew Pham. Talvin Vong. Jeff Liu. <laughs> Philip Q. <laughs> Kano Ellis. <laughs> Andrew Lay. Garcia Santa Maria. Viviana Williams. Peyton Kornstrom. Nayeli Argueta. Tajana Rod. Stephen Abundis. Jayana Nishe Griffin. I'll take it. Ashante Jackson. Rachel Bush. Yeah. Evelyn Cass. Yeah. Nathan Ocho Uhano. Zion Polk. Yeah. Evan Deegan. Yeah. Brian 
110. Anna Nee. Kalissa Jewel Nisby. Asiana Saray Hicks. Sophia Petty Yates. Anderson Toe. <laughs> Kong Chang Lee. <laughs> Mark Tai. Raymond Chan. Leilani Blanchard. DeMarco Dickerson. Dante Jackson. <laughs> Carla Rodriguez Talamantes. Rainy <laughs> Sanchan Saparn <laughs> Brandon Mendoza Ruiz. Ashley Tang. Xavier Carlson. Alvin Bob. Chen Ava Day Taylin Shelby Edward Yi. Bill on Gemma Russo Thank you
me das cuenta. Matasia Walker Burr. <laughs> Naya Simone Spivey. <laughs> Jesus Garcia Hernandez. Nuriani Saleh. <laughs> Hermela Bertanu. <laughs> Anaya Chow. Cindy, no. <laughs> Dominic Nguyen. <laughs> Jarrell Del Rio Fernandez. Jordine Carpio. Febeli Abella. Yen Din. Anthony Q. Tong. Jabril Samoon. King Fernandez. Autumn Sunberg. Thank you. Congratulations. Leon Ali. Shao Lan Dang. Elise Brown. <laughs> Lucy Tilson. Isaiah Twyman Metcalf. Mumtaz Shikaden. Yep. Congrats. Khalid Hersey. Elijah Tran. Yeah. 
Keegan Lau. Philip Nguyen. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Congrats. Watson Barnes. Aaron Jordan Buensalido. Rakda Sheik. Ikra Mohammed. Mitzi Ramirez Aquino. Ashley Herrera. Angela Garibay Castro. Silvestri Tangalan. Tristan Maxwell. Maximiano running hawk. Duke Kuhinamanu Ryume Kekuna. Stephen Huin. Logan Almarez. Ben Hong. Chris Tong. Kevin Vo Dong. Armando Doliente. Bisrat Amari. Neri Hernandez Sandoval. Maximus Woldemedin. Aaron Matthew Sanza. Lily Zen. Kushel Balagtas. Yeah. 
Mila Hoft. Annie Tran Thien. Kila Hong. Jaria Suleiman. Yu Chen Lei. Andy Zhang. Finnegan Gra Asri <laughs> Benjamin Patawaran Monica Thomas. Gabriel Morris. Chewan Dixon. Angelina Martin Tai Andrew Hall DJ Blake Moses Britt. Jan Royce Felicitas. Jerick Ragudos. Johannes <laughs> Khalid Jama <laughs> Kim Pham Jennifer Tran. <laughs> Janessa Molina. <laughs> Preston Lamb. Ethan 
Ethan Chen. <laughs> Olivia Lee. <laughs> Alexis Neri. Jonathan Arias. <laughs> Brian Lai. <laughs> Sam Hannah. Malia Williams. <laughs> Jenny Trin. <laughs> Selma Hassan. <laughs> Aliyah McCray. <laughs> Samira Saeed. Julianne Padilla Alcara. <laughs> Rajne Amari Reeves. <laughs> Angelica Ver. Yeras Mamo <laughs> Vu Nguyen <laughs> Nida Han Rose Berlin Montgomery Evans. <laughs> Danny Markel Tony Law. DeAndre White. Cyrus Hall. Gordon Huang.
Winston Yip. Young Win. Peter Lee. Jorge Moises Rendon Perez. Lisa Hui. Victoria Duenas. Nigel Sebastian. Jaden Ray. DJ Freeman Salee. <laughs> Christian Cotto. Jocely Mendez. <laughs> Beatriz Soledad Barrientos. <laughs> Jorge Hernandez Perez. Wes Fung. Miguel Varanda. Louis Dupaya. Sukdi Hassan. <laughs> Salma Yusuf. Mahan Wiley <laughs> Amal Ahmed
Seattle, ooh, Seattle School Board Director Hampton, as assistant principal of Cleveland STEM High School, I formally present and recommend for graduation the students of the graduating class of 2022 from Cleveland High School. Yeah, clap for that! <laughs> These students have met all the graduation requirements and are deserving of all the honors, rights, and privileges pertained thereto. Do you accept? Thank you. By the authority vested on me as school board director of Seattle Public Schools, I recognize and accept the 2022 graduates, this, I'm sorry, the 2022 graduates of Cleveland High School, and I approve the granting of their diplomas. Congratulations. <laughs> So not a this. No. This. Dismissal directions Dism and then Dism yeah, uh, turning of the tassel and dismissal directions. Oh. Y'all been waiting on this one. Y'all ready? Yeah. Uh, Cleveland High School graduates, it is now time for that time honored tradition of moving your tassel to signify your status as a graduate. I ask you and any, I ask you and any of our students live stream to stand as you are able and to move your tassel on a count of three from right to left. Stand up, stand up, go ahead, stand up. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. One, two, Congratulations to the Cleveland class of 2022! All right, everyone, let's go. We have some dismissal directions. Families and guests, we ask that you remain in your seats until all graduates have been dismissed from their seats. They will exit out the Northwest Field level exit from the stadium and head to the International Fountain. Graduates, our staff is heading to the back of the field to form a tunnel to celebrate your graduation. After the tunnel is formed, a director of school will dismiss each row in reverse order, starting at the back row. Please head through the tunnel and up to the International Fountain where you can reconnect with your family and friends. Staff, please stand and move to the back to form the tunnel. Congratulations, class of 2022!